Every living being on this planet is composed of cells and each cell comes with a program manual. Its genetic information in the form of a sequence of nucleic acids such as DNA. Now imagine a world where we have the ability to edit this program manual. It would give us the power to manipulate life. Basically it would make man his own god. Now what if I tell you that this is not far from reality. Hello and welcome to today's video. I am Abhikarsh a third year microbiology honor student at Swami Shradhanan College and I am here to discuss a technology called CRISPR. In nature CRISPR or CRISPR-Cas exists as an adaptive microbial immune system in bacteria and archaea that protects them against invading viruses and plasmids. Now let us understand how it works. It has two components CRISPRs and Cas. The former is a conserved sequence of DNA called clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats or as we call them CRISPRs. CRISPRs serve as an archive or a library where it stores unique sequences of invading viruses and plasmids. The latter is a protein called Cas. Now whenever a bacterium gets infected, it quickly synthesizes a CRISPR RNA against the invader and binds with the Cas protein. Next, this complex simply cuts the invading DNA thereby aborting the harmful invasion. Sounds quite simple, doesn't it? Well, the interest in this process witnessed a meteoric rise in 2012 when Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier succeeded in repurposing this natural mechanism as a tool to edit the genome of possibly any living cell with incredible precision. Rightfully, this remarkable discovery landed the two scientists with a Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020. This technology clearly stands out when compared to other gene editing methods for three primary reasons. Its high precision, prompt results and economic feasibility. The popularity and fixation over this technology has been immense which is evident from the fact that even Amazon sells DIY CRISPR kits at an affordable price for the curious minds. The next question is what does this technology offer us? Well, the possibilities of things that can be done with CRISPR is practically endless. It can make plants pest resistant or nutritionally charged with just a slight tweak in its DNA. It can completely eliminate disease spreading mosquitoes. Talking about therapy, CRISPR can eradicate almost any genetic ailment such as sickle cell anemia. What about the biggest devil, cancer? Clinical trials for CRISPR based cancer therapy are already underway with promising preliminary results. Furthermore, FDA has approved clinical trials for CRISPR based HIV therapy so on and so forth but the list goes on and on. Nevertheless, a discussion on CRISPR is incomplete without talking about some scary details. So far, we have talked about changes in the somatic cells. But what if the human germline is edited using CRISPR? We will be able to treat severe serious disorders at, an, at the embryonic level itself. However, a slightest error will lead to an irreversible change in the human gene pool with unknown consequences. Moreover, the idea of making designer babies using CRISPR opens another Pandora's box. What if we edit the embryo to get blue eyes, more muscle strength, eternal youth and what not? This idea itself has opened doors to widespread criticism on grounds of ethical violation and is banned all around the world. But people fear that it's only a matter of time. 
CRISPR Cas technology is still pretty new. We don't have the proper knobs and dials to modulate it according to our desire. Clearly, it is very early to predict its long term effects. The more we know, the more we realize there is to know, said Jennifer Doudna once. Till then, all we have is time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay healthy.